Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious is on maternity leave, so we have Lauren LaRosa filling in. And we got a special guest in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO, Mercedes Monet. Hey. Welcome. What's up, champ? Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. How you feeling? I'm feeling good on this beautiful New York morning. There you go. Was in a long, long traffic this morning, but it's good. I'm happy to be here. Oh, the UN is in town. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, I, want, I want to start from the beginning for people that don't know who you are. You are a, a, a huge wrestler. And yes. how did you get into the wrestler game? What made you say, I want to do that? Uh, it's when I was 10 years old. I started watching wrestling on TV and there was like nothing on TV. Mm -hmm. I was scrolling through the channels and then WWE was on. I was like, whoa, what is this? This is interesting. Mm -hmm. My mom came in the room. She's like, turn this off. Wrestling's the devil. Wrestling's so bad. I went to my brother's room the next she door. Said, wrestling's I, the devil? It's the devil. It's so devil. bad. Right. Um, so she's then religious? I, she's very religious. Okay. Um, then I went to my brother's room, finished watching wrestling, and just instantly a light just came into my soul. I was like, this is going to be your soul calling. This is going to be your, your soul purpose. And since I was 10 years old till now, here I am at 32, every single day I was just dreaming about wrestling and being a professional wrestler. And now here I am, the greatest women's wrestler of all time. Did your brother <laughs> used to practice his moves on you, DDT? No, no, no. My, my brother has special needs, so he couldn't have done that, no. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, so you originally uh, were born in California. Yes. And then you moved to, to Boston. Yeah. Now why did y'all move to Boston? Was it for your brother? It was for my brother. My brother has special needs, and uh, we moved around a lot just to find the right doctors and the right schools for him. And finally my mom got a job out in Boston, so. There's the Boston accent. Yeah, mm -hmm. We moved out there. I started... Uh, Training in MMA when I was 16 years old because there's no professional wrestling school that would train me at the time. You had oh, to be you can 18. fight for real then. I was, I was trying to train for real to yeah, get me yeah, ready yeah. for wrestling. Um, trained out in Massachusetts for two years and then I turned 18, joined a pro wrestling school. And then two years later, I got signed by WWE. How did your mom feel when you started the training? My mom was like, oh, God, why? No. <laughs> but once I got signed, she became my biggest fan. Mm -hmm. Um, she drove me to all my wrestling shows and to wrestling training. So, you know, deep down, she supported me. She she loved it. She loved that I had this dream of legit since I was 10. Like this, I told my mom, this is what I was going to do. This is my goal. This is my dream. And I got to go do it. Um, but once I really made it, that's when she's like my biggest fan. Pardon my ignorance. I didn't know there was pro wrestling schools. It's like, what, Ric Flair University or something? Like, There's some professional Flair wrestling University. schools all over the world, everywhere. For actual, for like for this type of wrestling? To, to be the best, wow. you gotta train with the best. And I've you traveled get, all over the world to, to be the best. Is it like you get belts there? You get degrees? Like what do you get? No, you don't. You, you, get, you get belts in the, the big leagues. I'm with, I'm with AEW, I'm a two time champion. Um, no, you just begin training. You learn how to bump, how to hit the ropes, how to be a performer, how mm -hmm. to cut promos. Um, there's, like I said, there's wrestling schools all over the world. They're in New York, uh -huh. they're in Boston, mm -hmm. they're in, England, they're in Australia. Wrestling is is global. Do these organizations go to these schools to find talent? They do. They scout wow. them out. They either scout them out or us as wrestlers, we have to book ourselves. We have to go out and make a name for ourselves and be seen. Um, I remember writing to WWE every single week. Anytime they were in town from Boston, I'm like, can I be? Can I please be an extra? Can mm -hmm. I be an extra work? Can I get a look at? Um, then they looked at me and then they sent me down to Florida for a week tryout. And then that's when I got signed full time. Wow. Congrats. What was your break? What was your big break Ooh. that actually got you into wrestling? I feel like my biggest break was in 2015. Um, myself and this wrestler named Bailey, we had the greatest women's match of all time. Uh, Sports Illustrated said so we had the greatest women's match of all time. And that's really changed the landscape of women's wrestling after that match. I felt like a lot of people started taking it seriously and really letting people know that women can do it just like the men and more. And because me and Bailey had that match in the the standing ovation, the crowd reaction, the next pay-per-view, me and her got to main event that pay-per-view special because we did so good. Wow, and how many injuries did you receive you know, throughout this whole process? And, and, and how bad Not has it been? Many. Not too I've many, I've had about five broken noses, Jesus. my ribs oh. broken, Jesus. Um, dislocated pelvis. And you said not too many? Not, not too many. Um, and last year I uh, broke my heel, which took me out for a whole year. Mm. Yeah. How, how long did it take before <laughs> you feel like you made it in wrestling? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You maybe. Don't feel maybe. Like I'm... No. I feel. I feel like I'm. I made it. Okay. Um. Like I said, 2015 was like that start of that buzz for women's wrestling, and then really 2020, 2021, where I main evented WrestleMania, being the first ever Black woman to main event at WrestleMania. That's when I really felt like 
I did something, I made it, I wanna SB off that match. Um, that's another match where fans come to me and be like, because of that match, my little girl wants to be a wrestler or I can bring my, my kids to wrestling or I, I enjoy all of this because of your matches, you make me feel a certain type of way. Um, so I feel like maybe really in 2020, 2021 is when I really felt like I made it or like mm -hmm. I cemented my legacy in wrestling. You well, take wrestling with your spouse to a whole nother level. Like, you know, you wrestle with your girl or you have fun. You take that no, to a whole nother level. No, you can't play with her. No, you can't play with you. <laughs> no, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I'll <laughs> slam you down. I'll put you in a bank statement. I'll make you tap out if you mess with me. Could you imagine away. you playing no. with your girl and all of a sudden she got you in the, in the, Illegit arm in the headline? <laughs> You're like, all right, tap out. Have you out. had to do that in real life for real to one of your guys? Um, Not to any of my guys. A couple of fans when they want to come a little too close. Yeah. You don't got security? I do have security. I was about to say. I just got security, so yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and you don't need security, you know, the, the, to protect you from people, more so in some cases to protect Them. people from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, that, yeah. exactly that. Do uh, guys like approach you like wanting you to do wrestle moves all to the time. them? All the time. That's so, so annoying. annoying. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Mercedes body slam me, body slam me. Because they just want to be really close and, and snug, but it's, you got to give them your space. You got to be like, push mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. hold the championship, and we'll stand a little a little far apart for our picture, that's it. Mm -hmm. What do you think would have been your plan B if you didn't make it as a wrestler? <sighs> that's hard, I, I never really had a, a plan B before I was a wrestler. I was an order taker at a restaurant. Um, I was a, sh a shoes associate. So I feel like maybe just a manager at a hotel. Like I, I just only saw wrestling for me. Mm -hmm. That was my A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, my only goal, my only desire. So I think I would only be a professional wrestler in, in some type of way, you know, or in the wrestling. Wow. Industry. Did you ever feel like giving up? Did you always have like the full support of your family? Was there anybody saying, "Hey, why don't you go learn a trade"? Um, there's there's only been maybe twice in my career where I'm like, I don't think I can do this anymore. Just mm -hmm. the the pressure, the 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 politics, let alone just the politics and being a woman in this sport. It's mm -hmm. it's a male dominated sport and a woman of color. Nonetheless, um, there was a couple times where I had to look deep down inside and be like, Do I really want to do this? Do I really mm -hmm. want to go through this pain? every single day it's not just mental pain it's physical pain that mm -hmm. we're putting our bodies through mm -hmm. every single week with the travel and then the the bumping getting on the cars driving to the next towns um but then i just look back into my soul and be like what is your sole purpose what makes you smile what makes your heart you know flutter what, what makes you go chase your goals mm -hmm. and it's always been professional wrestling wow. what um you said you worked at a shoe store i did what store did you work with baker's fake oh baker's shoe store. store yeah so I see the, like your photos and your photo shoots, the stuff that you do for Monet Mag yeah. is like very like fashion, artsy. It do, so incorporating your fashion sense and then like what you like about art and all that stuff into your brand. When did that become a thing? When did you know you needed to do that? Uh, right away. I mean, watching wrestling is larger than life. You had to watch like the Macho Man. You mm -hmm. had the the bright colors, the glasses, the hair. I knew when I was going to be a professional wrestler, I wanted to be larger than life because I was such a shy girl growing up. Um, then when I got signed, I, I dyed my hair, I got the nails, I got the necklace, I got the glasses. And then really I started to tap into myself and being like, okay, it's okay to be mm. beautiful and feel that way and, and, and tap into your femininity. And I love fashion and art and getting to design your own wrestling gears and but wear that out every Honestly. single week. Mm -hmm. It's the funnest part of wrestling. I love being a girl and I love coming up with my costumes and I feel like I have the best costumes in the game. Mm -hmm. Is it true that, that Snoop is a relative of yours? He's my first cousin, yes. Snoop oh, is your shoot, first cousin. Yeah. When did you find that out? Did you always know growing up? Or <laughs> I, did didn't, you find I didn't find out until I was maybe like 10 years old. And my dad's like, um, Snoop's coming to Iowa, where, which I, where I lived at the time. He's like, so let's go see him. Saw him. And I told everybody at school, I'm like, Snoop Dogg's my cousin. And everyone's like, no, he's not. No, he's not. Went to the concert and Snoop gave me like a whole box of shirts to give to everybody at the school the next day. And I felt like the coolest kid in class. And then when I was 16, he was hosting WrestleMania, and I messaged my dad. I'm like, can you please ask Snoop to bring me to WrestleMania? Please, please, please. He brought me to WrestleMania, and I feel like just from that in, our bond came from wrestling. Like, we just talk about wrestling. We love wrestling. Wow. And still to this day, he's one of my biggest fans and supporters. Wow. So first cousin, I mean, That's one you. of your parents is his My dad brother, is his uncle, you? yes. Oh, wow. 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 Uncle wow. Rio. Wow. Wow. You smoke with him? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> after a match, I'm hoping, not before. Um, after a match, yes. It's for my inflammation and inspiration. There you go. See, it's yeah. for medicinal, yeah. Yeah. Um, your, your name used to be Sasha Banks. Yes. And you changed it to Mercedes, which is your real, real name. name. Why the name change? Because Sasha Banks was such a big entity, it, big brand. Right? It was because I was with um, WWE, and they mm -hmm. own the IP, Sasha Banks. Mm -hmm. And um, it was time for me to grow and to, to be more and, and to be more. Like, I legit wanted to find myself. And it's so hard to be a different identity and a different name for 
10 years, having mm. someone call you by a different name and pretending for you to be this character that they want you to be. So for me, I wanted more for women's wrestling. I wanted more for myself. And I said, where can I do that? How can I do that? And that was jumping the ship and going to AEW. Well, where, built, where did the Sasha Banks name come from? It came from WWE. They, um, they tell everybody when you get signed to come give up like a list of names. And I gave them Sasha with a different last name and, and Banks with a different first name. And mm -hmm. They were like, ding, 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 Sasha Banks, here's your name. Was it never an option for you to be like, I want to own the IP of Sasha Banks, or that's just how it goes? It was never the option. The Not option. with that company. No, no, no. But with AEW, now I own my name, and I own my brand, and it's the it's the best it's ever been for myself in my career. It's the best. Do you ever feel like you was losing yourself in the caricature of Sasha Banks? Absolutely, because mm -hmm. you have to play her 24-7. Being a wrestler is as Role playing online, it's mm -hmm. role playing offline. It's once you're off the flight, you gotta be on. Is once I put on that wig, I'm on. I'm mm -hmm. Sasha Banks, and it's just like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not her. I'm Mercedes. I'm Mercedes Monet, and I really felt like it was time to to be that and to own that brand. So what's the difference between you think Mercedes Monet and Sasha Banks? Well, Sasha was a legit boss, and now Mercedes, she leveled up. She is the CEO of her own life. She is the CEO of the women's division. And she is the best of the game. She won't let anybody tell her no. Um, and with Sasha Banks, I was told what to do. I was told what to say. I was told where to be. And now, really, I get to be the CEO of my own life and, and let people know where I want to be. You know why uh, I know that you're a person who's willing to bet on yourself? You don't see people leave the WWE no. to go to a company like AEW. So it's, it, I, would, I would think it's like the other way around. Like WWE is like the... Top of the top, right? That's usually how it used to be, used but to be, now yeah. it's not. Wrestling has become bigger than ever. And now that there's a second brand like this, like AEW, who's here to disrupt this mm -hmm. industry, disrupt the business, um, it's been amazing. Next week we're going to be celebrating five years of AEW. Um, we're beating out WCW, and fans online are getting mad about that every single day, but it's the best it's ever been. And it's the most talked about that professional wrestling has ever been talked about in this industry of the world. So it's the best time to be a fan and to be a professional wrestler in the sport. Why did you leave WWE though? I left for many different reasons. Um, a lot of personal stuff happened um, with myself and the chairman at the time. And um, I didn't like how he talked to me and how I was, you know, just talked down to. And I was like, you know what? It's time to legit listen to your soul and your heart. There was a light that came to me one day and I, I just left WWE and um, my guides told me and I'm, I'm guided to being a two-time champion at AEW. So you see somebody like Vince McMahon, <laughs> mm -hmm. he's got what the sexual abuse suit, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I'm not the lawyer, or the, oh. I don't know, something like that. But he used to talk to you crazy? Yeah, a little crazy. That day yeah. he would talk to me a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And that was enough to be like, I'm out. It was enough for, my my source of light to come into my body and be like, you know what, if you stay, that's not okay. This is for the rest of your life. And uh, what are you gonna teach your kids? What are you gonna teach mm -hmm. just people? If you're feeling like this from words, mm -hmm. after being here for 10 years, you gotta stand up for yourself. And that's what I did. There's a light, the same light that came to me when I was 10 years old being like, this is your sole purpose, mm -hmm. this is what you're gonna do. Another light came to me and being like, you you got to walk away and do something better for yourself. So. And there was no protection for, for you guys, for wrestlers, for, especially for female wrestlers at all? No, no, but we're changing that every day. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm changing that every day for women's wrestling, yeah. So there's no, there was no human resources over there that could be like, you we could went to, We went to everybody, and uh, no, Damn. it wasn't. Where'd y'all go after WWE? You went to Japan. I, I heard, went to right? Japan, yeah. and I won the IWGP Women's Championship. Trinity went to TNA and became the knockout champion, and... Um, now here I am as the New Japan Strong Women's Champion. I've done a lot of things just leaving WWE. I, I walked the runways. I did a movie. Um, I just really just tapped in finding out who Mercedes really is because I was Sasha for so long. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get to do whatever that collab was supposed to be with Meg Thee Stallion? Not right now. Not, unfortunately, no. What was that supposed to be? Like, something cause I'm fun. Either a tag team match, a wrestling match, some, something. But she's wrestling with you? I would like some either wrestle with me or wrestle against me. But there were there was talks of doing something fun with her. Um, but now she's doing the opening theme song for SmackDown, which is awesome. But is it because like you can't because you were with WWE before and now you're not, or is it just like right now brand wise you just don't want to be attached because she's attached? No, just to WWE. brand wise, she, she did a song with WWE and mm -hmm. I'm with AEW, so I just think 
we can't do anything together. But are y'all still home? Are y'all homegirls? Y'all still talk? Uh, she's like, not my best girl? friend or anything, but she wants to be my homegirl. Absolutely. We only okay. met a couple of times when she's really awesome. You just had your CEO hat on when you were I trying did. to put I did. I was together. trying to yeah. get her on the board. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Yeah. So, didn't Sexy Ray do something with AEW? She, she did something with uh, AEW, not AEW, NXT. NXT. Yeah, which is part of WB. Wow, wrestling. It's so much it's, going it's on. It's a like lot that. of different. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Who else Christ. would you want to? Who else would you want to wrestle in the celebrity world? Because I love when I seen <sighs> Floyd do it. I love when I seen Shaq do it. Uh, who else was it? it was a, a, a oh yeah, Shaq a reggaeton did it. artist did it too as well. That did a great job. Who else would you want to wrestle if, if, if possible? Ooh, wrestle. My my. I would love my tag team partner to be Nicki Minaj because mm. I love her. And who would I want to wrestle? Hmm. I might have to wrestle like a Kim Kardashian or even just a Beyonce to see if she can even throw it down. Oh my God, you would wrestle Beyonce? <laughs> I would have to wrestle Beyonce. Uh-uh, girl. The queen of it all. You can't wrestle Beyonce. You, but, take, care, you take her down the wrong way. I think your career's yeah, over. Yeah, you'd have to take a dive. Yeah. Like, you'd have to let her beat you up. I, I, would, do, I would let her do yeah, that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I would let her take the championship, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> now, wrestling is not fake, but it is... Predetermined, it's a little right? predetermined. So how, how do y'all figure out? Like, do you know if you're gonna lose or win the next match, or do you just walk into a room and they be like, "You're losing today"? Like something like that. Usually, when we get to the show, um, we have a card, and our, our agent or our coach will be like, "Well, today this match is gonna be this, and Mercedes is over, and this is how we want her to win." Um, last year, when I was supposed to win this new this new Japan Strong Women's Championship. I got injured and I had to change the match on the fly and make the other girl win. So when I say it's predetermined, you really don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We can get injured, we can get concussed and maybe not kick out. Maybe my opponent won't remember the move and it'll be like, uh, what's next? So yeah, it's predetermined, but it's it's so real. You never know what's going to happen in that ring. How often does do wrestlers go roll where it's like, you know what, I'm not losing today? All the time, I feel like. Really? If, it's not, if they're not mad about losing, um, they're mad about they're not getting that many uh, moves into the match or they want to look the best out of the match. They want to do extra stuff. Um, I've wrestled people like that who've done a little extra to me that we haven't talked about. I'm is, just whoa. like... Is there fines for that though? Like I'm supposed to win, I get body slammed three times, but you just, they just more, effing you up in that ring. I wish there was more fines, but you just have to give them a receipt in the ring. Like snug them back. Is, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Is, is AEW uh, scream, is going to be screaming on HBO Max? I don't know. There's rumors of that. Yeah. There's definitely rumors um of us joining uh, Discovery and HBO Max, which would be huge, but I'm I'm not sure if that deal is done yet. But I hope so for for wrestling. How do you feel about that as opposed to it being on TBS or TNT? Because it's you know growing up, I grew up in South Carolina, so that's all I used to watch was TBS and TNT. Oh, it's still very much going to be on TBS and TNT okay, okay. every single week. I'm the TBS champion for a reason. I'm the face of TBS. Oh, so I got it's all the same company. It's right? all the same. It's, yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah, going to yeah. be on TBS, so it's not going anywhere. I'm going to mm -hmm. be on TNT and TBS for a very long time. What do you feel about Raw going from three hours to two hours? I think um, I think that sucks for the wrestlers. Just mm -hmm. if you lose mm -hmm. a whole hour, that's a whole opportunity of of performing in front of a live audience and in front of millions watching at home. But I think just the move to Netflix is so huge for them that they're going to gain so much more opportunities in so many different other ways. So does, does having that one less hour really make a difference for a wrestler? Would you think adding an hour to your your show would add or take away? Uh. You'd be tired. No, yeah, we did it during yeah. COVID. I didn't really yeah, it care. was a lot. It was a lot during COVID. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think it'd be COVID, right. I, like, uh. I think for performers, it's it's great. Just like I said, to give mm -hmm. more opportunity, and especially mm -hmm. for women as well. Like we're only given um, five to eight minutes, so it's like we need that extra hour. We need that time. Mm -hmm. to tell a story, yeah. I read that you were the highest paid woman in pro wrestling, correct? I hope so. Okay. I right. think I would like to think so. I don't know okay. other people's bank accounts, but. I like that title. Do you feel like your pay is based on your value in the company or do you feel like you should be making more money? Like you feel like there should be more money allotted to you and just other women? Oh, I wrestlers? definitely want to make more money. Um, absolutely. I guess I'm asking you, do you think you're getting what you deserve right now? <laughs> I, I am. I am. And it's so, uh, cr I don't even want to say it's crazy. It's just, it's beautifully deserved and earned and it's something that I worked so hard for for such a long time. Yeah. Um, and it's something that I want women to work for. It's like, I finally got something that, as women, we're like, no, you can't even see those numbers. You can't even talk about those numbers. Mm -hmm. You can't even walk into the room and even ask for a raise or to ask for a, a bonus or anything. So to get what I feel like I deserve, plus I feel like I deserve so much more, and I'm going to get that, um, it's so amazing. I just give, I think that gives people a chance to dream more, that they can make more too if they put in the hard work.
What do you think, uh, what, what are some ways that AEW can close the gap with WWE? I was looking at Forbes and they had these five ways that uh, AEW can close the gap with WWE. What do you think? Ooh, I, I don't know what it means to close the gap. I feel like it's always going to be a weird competition, but it's just, AEW's only been around for five years. Mm -hmm. WWE has been around for 30 plus. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of gap you can close with that. It's such a big gap of who's been around for so long. I think just AEW just has to keep on being its own brand and being AEW and being where the best wrestle. That's our slogan and that's where legit the greatest wrestlers are signed there. The best performers are signed there. And you get to see that every week on TBS and TNT. We have the greatest performers from all over the world. Um, and I think that's just what makes us different. I don't think there's any gap that we have to close. I think we just have to keep on standing out and being our own brand. As what Force Force said, embrace being an underdog and an alternative yeah. to WWE. Uh, sign top talents who will make a difference. There you go. Uh, balance the incredible in-ring action with quality storylines. Bam. Utilize the talented AEW roster to the fullest and continue spotlighting the women's division. Da 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 da. They're doing that. They're doing that every single day. So. Um, I was a question. I, I know you are the highest paid woman in pro wrestling, right? Yeah. If me and Lauren want to give you just a couple of dollars uh -huh. what to hit Charlemagne, to knock him out, <laughs> how much would you charge us? Ooh, you don't do so community write-offs? I, I don't. Mm. Um, can I get, just get a bag each? What do you What do you want me to do to him? Tap him out? No, I, tap want, him I out. want him to fill it for like at least a month after. A month okay, after? That's easy. I just yeah. say a Maybe tap make out is good. Maybe it's hard for him to talk. Why do you guys not like him? What do you do to him? <sighs> what do you guys do to him? You know how there's like the villain in the storyline all the time? You, you, should, you should recommend it to somebody in this room. I'm not going to say who. He's a hater. If you just... He's it's a, not you. He's that's a hater, true. okay? It's not me. I got it it hasn't been him for a very long time, and that's why he's angry. You know how men are about letting their hairline go. I'll teach you a couple moves. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay me for that. I'll teach you a couple moves. Thank you. Because you, yeah, you yeah. felt it. You see what I've been going yeah, through? I felt that, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you for joining us tonight. 8 p.m. on TBS, Grand Slam Dynamite, and then Grand Slam Collision comes on Saturday, 8 p.m. on TNT. What's the difference between Dynamite and Collision? Um, Dynamite is every Wednesday on TBS and Collision is every Saturday on TNT. But and you how guys often don't fight do you, differently. How often do you wrestle? Do you often you wrestle every week? I pretty much defend my championship every month. I don't wrestle every week. I gotta look cute. It's different here in AEW. I gotta sit next to my chairman, my EVPs, and I gotta look beautiful. I gotta defend these championships at the pay per views. But I'm always looking good on Dynamite every mm -hmm. Wednesday because I am the face of TBS. Would you ever go back to WWE if they offered you like the right bag and they said, "Hey, we are gonna give you back your." We won't let you have your real name. We'll give you back the rights to Sasha Banks. <sighs> After the way that AEW has been treating me? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like I have the best relationship with um, AEW right now, and it's legit. I'm living my dreams, and it's the best place I've ever mm -hmm. been mentally and physically. And to be able to have new dreams after being in the industry for 14 years, it's the best feeling in the world. So AEW is my home right now. Dope. And how yeah. how is dating life for you? How 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 do do men approach you? Are they nervous? <laughs> Are they scared? Um, right now I'm not dating because I'm so busy, and I, I yeah I would assume so. They're nervous and scared. Yeah, you do, like you wouldn't do dating apps, right? No, no way. How do you? But if you were to date, how do you meet people? Because she needs advice. Yeah, she, I, yeah, she I just got on Christian Mingle. I don't know. I don't, advice know. I don't I am not on Christian Mingle. I'm asking I'm you not, that because I'm not dating guys, anybody. I don't know. I can't give you any advice. Guys be into like wrestling and stuff, so they would know like instantly. Like I don't who know you if are. I want a wrestling well, Mercedes, you're not dating a, because you don't want to. Right, yes. She's not dating because she doesn't have Mercedes, a choice. Mercedes, you uh, see? No, I, 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 after this, are my <laughs> nails too long to no, put them No, those out? are perfect. Okay, all right. Else? Okay. It's perfect. Just got to okay. get him. Mm -hmm. Scratch him. Tap him out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Can I the choke CEO, Mercedes Monet, thank you for joining us Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.